and right of the fastest time. Winner is Raymel Greenish. He was nominated Secretary of State. Final answer. Exactly right, Secretary of State, Holland Hall. Welcome to Sunday Night at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hey, have you heard? It's Super Bowl Sunday. But we've got our own gridiron drama right here. The difference is, on this show, we'll be playing for television's biggest cash prize ever. One million eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Not just a little Super Bowl ring. All that money. And Ramel Greening is going to go for it. She's first and ten. She's on the 50-yard line. One point eight five million at stake. How do you feel, Ramel? Great. Sure, you're ready Great. to go. I know you are. You were here last night. We got to uh, say hello and meet. She's from uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Knew the president in the old days when he was the governor. Right. Sang in the same church choir as he did. Right. Your dad is here. How you doing? Nice to see you. And your friend? Uh, Paul. Paul. Your dad's name is? Philip. Philip, right. Philip and Paul are here. Sound like the two of the apostles. <laughs> they act that way sometimes, They too. act that way sometimes, <laughs> too, right. <laughs> All right, so tell me about your big night here in New York City. Uh, the three of us went out to dinner last night at Grand Central Station. It very was, good. It was very good. We sat up there and watched all those people scurrying around, and we were having a nice, relaxing yeah, dinner. Exactly. And, Ramel, in case uh, you didn't hear last night, we just touched on it briefly, but you have uh, had a stint as a uh, truck driver, mm -hmm. an 18-wheeler. And you handle that big rig yourself? Oh, it's easy. Is it really? It's easy. You just have to remember you've got a whole lot back there behind you. Yeah, sure. Well, okay, I think you're all set then. Say, if you want to play along with Ramel, go to abc.com right now and click on to our enhanced TV game. I think you'll enjoy it. So, Ramel, you've won $8,000, seven questions away from the big payoff. And once you reach the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave you with at least that much money. You have all three of your lifelines left, and that's important. 50-50, ask the audience, and you can phone a friend. And, Ramel, if you make it all the way to the top tonight, you will win $1,850,000. Very exciting. Ready to play? Ready. Audience, are you ready? Let's do it. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Here we go. Going for $16,000. In the 1992 movie, White Men Can't Jump, Rosie Perez's character appears on what TV show? The Tonight Show, Jeopardy, General Hospital, Wheel of Fortune. I have not seen this movie. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I've heard this. I'm going through the file cabinet. Sure, go ahead, <laughs> take your time. I'd like to ask the audience. Why don't we do that? Audience, Ramel needs your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, uh, Jeopardy uh, jumps out at you there at 61%, and the rest are kind of bunched together. Yeah, they are kind of, aren't they? Really wanted a bigger percentage. Did you really? Had. Yes, I'm greedy. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, oh, let's wow. see, the movie's eight years old. Mm -hmm. Nine years old at this point. 61%'s a good percentage. But we can use the other two lifelines only if you... Yeah. I want to stay in the game, and I didn't want to use my lifelines this early, but that wasn't what I was digging up in the file cabinet there. Did you have a thought on this? Did yeah, you? I did. I kind of did. But on I, which one? I, since I hadn't seen the movie, I'm yeah. just 
you know, out there. I want to take the 50-50. Do you really? Yeah. I hate to see you squander your lifelines. Well, I do too, but 61% um, is not. Let's do it, Ramel. Your wish is my command. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> take away two of those wrong uh, answers, please. Jeopardy remains. Okay, I'm going to go with it, Jeopardy. Final. Final answer. Thank you, audience. You got it for 16000 <laughs> Yes, Rosie Perez appeared on Jeopardy and won some money, too. Ramel, two lifelines gone now, but we're going for $32,000. Very, very important level. Here it is. What South American country has the longest coastline? You didn't take your rig down there, did you? No. All right, check these out. Is it Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Peru? I'm not going to gamble. Not at 32. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to phone a friend. Uh, let's call Scott. What does Scott do? Scott's a radio talk show host. A radio talk show host? One of the smartest guys I know. All right, let's get Scott on the line, AT&T. Hello, Scott. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from ABC's and wants to be a millionaire. Hi, Regis, how are you? Fine, how you doing? Excellent. So, we've got Ramel here. She says you're one of the smartest guys she knows. Uh, she lies. <laughs> <laughs> and going for $32,000, which is a very important level on this show. So she's going to come on, read the question, the four possible answers, what of the right answer, okay? I'm ready. All set to go, Scott? Yes, sir. Ramel, it's all yours, 30 seconds right now. Hi, Scott. What Hi. South American country has the longest coastline? Brazil, Argentina, Chile, or Peru? What South American country has the longest coastline? Brazil, Chile, uh, Peru, or... Argentina, 13 Argentina. seconds. I would say Chile. How positive are you? Quick, three seconds. I'm, uh... <laughs> He's not. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> That's one friend off the list. Okay. Um, he's going to kill me now. Why'd you ask me that question? Well, he did say chilly. Yeah, but he didn't sound real confident. You want an affidavit with every vote, don't you? Oh, I sure do. Boy, boy. <laughs> I want guarantees in life. Uh -huh. They're not there. I was thinking Brazil, because it curves around so much, and Brazil is mm. the biggest country in South America. I know what you mean, yeah. But then, the other ones go along the coast. He said Chile, right? He said Chile, right. But he didn't sound real sure. winning that Super Bowl. <laughs> I don't know, but I hope it's a good game. <laughs> I won't go for it. Y'all can applaud now. 
All right. Let's go to bed. Brazil. Brazil. And that's going to be your final answer? Final answer. You went against Scott. And you were right, it's Brazil! Got there now. You can't leave with less than that. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and your your phone a friend had it wrong. Yes, and he's going to hear about it. He's going to hear about that, I'm sure. And uh, wh what what are you going to do with this money? With the thirty two thousand, I just might take my dad to Australia. To Australia. He'd he like to see Australia. He wants to go. He, there's two places he would like to go: Brazil and Australia. And we're going to Brazil later in the year. I think you should go to Brazil. Just look at the coastline. <laughs> Boy, am I going to look. We're going to take a take cruise. Take another on the, look at that coastline. We're going to take a cruise on the Amazon. So when I fly in on the plane, uh -huh. I'm going to look at that coastline real close. <laughs> That's right. Well, okay. Here's where we are. You won $32,000 and $64,000 is what we're going for. It's kind of a free guess in here. Can't lose, uh, can't lose anything with it. You're five away from the big prize. So let's do it. Let's play. Here we go. $64,000. What is the most popular first name for U.S. presidents? John, William, George, James. Just got it right for $64,000. Yes. Six of them. James Madison, Monroe, Polk, Buchanan, Garfield, and Carter. Very good. All right, so now if you miss, you'll lose $32,000. But here it comes for $125,000. Which of these professionals would typically wear a surplus? A dancer, priest, police officer, beekeeper? Priest. Final? Final. Right, the priest wears the surplus. $125,000. Blue sitting white gown that is worn over the castle. I just remembered. <laughs> All right. I don't care what it is. I just remembered. <laughs> now, if you uh, miss, you'll lose ninety-three thousand dollars. Thank you. Tell goodness. you about that. You won one hundred and twenty-five thousand. You're just three questions away, believe it or not, from all this money. But here it is for a quarter million dollars, two hundred and fifty thousand. Take a look. Multi-Grammy Award winner Jimmy Stir is known by what nickname? Calypso King, Country King, Polka King, Swing King. sure it's not country king 
that just doesn't sound. And Swing King doesn't. Polka King is the one that. Don't want to trust my instincts this much. Polka King, Jimmy Stir. Final answer. Final answer. Yes, Polka King. $250,000. When we come back, she's two away from $1,850,000. We'll be back. The bell greeting of Little Rock, Arkansas has just won $250,000, and that's what it looks like right here. It looks good. And the next stop would be $500,000, a half million right there. Which looks better. And just two <laughs> questions away from winning $1,850,000, all in your name. Which looks great. <laughs> that look nice? Just yes. two questions away. It's remarkable. We've only had, I think, one or two other women in the time we've been on who have won $500,000. But no one has ever won $1,850,000. Okay. How do you feel? Feel okay? Um, surprisingly calm. Yes. I would say for somebody <laughs> named La Bamba La Thunder, whatever it was. <laughs> Thunder It's been La so Boom. long I've forgotten. But anyway, uh, <laughs> you're doing just fine here. Right. Slowly, Look cautiously, deliberately, you have fought your way up to a quarter million dollars. Now it's going to be even tougher for you to, in case you got a decision to make it, because you may lose 218000 and go back to 32,000 if you don't get it right. <laughs> so, shall we do it? Let's go for it. $500,000, a half million run out. Let's play, here we go. <laughs> yes, ma'am, here it is, the legendary King Midas was based on a real king who ruled over what ancient peoples? Sumerians, Phoenicians, Assyrians, Phrygians. All of my friends will kill me if I don't get this one. Who will? All of my friends. This is something that I should know. So why should you know this? I read a lot about this kind of stuff. All right. It's a good sign. But what I was thinking did not come up. Sure, it's not the Phoenicians. No one jumps down. The Assyrians were real warlock. The Sumerians, it's a real strong king. No doubt, huh? Her chance just doesn't sound right. The Sumerians would have been about the right time. Final answer. 
Sumerians, vital ants. Uh, boy, I hate to tell you this, oh. it's the Phrygians. Oh. Phrygians. We're back to $32,000. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's a great run, kid. You tried real hard. Thank you. Very, very tough questions. Finally, he had a match on that last one. Very gutsy contestant. All right, but now we have nine new players ready to take on the game. And they are Ed Tutank, Austin, Texas. Ed Kaposek, Cleveland, Ohio. Krista Walker, Kingston, Washington. Dean Sparks, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Alex Rashville, St. Louis, Missouri. Eric Wenchland, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Bethany Lieber Midwest, Bloomfield, Michigan. Jane Charted Aker, Syosset, New York. Ginny Mori, Seattle, Washington. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our show. Put your game faces on now because here comes tonight's first fastest finger question. Put these TV series in order of their original debut, starting with the earliest. Chicago Hope. Providence, Northern Exposure, Gideon's Crossing. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see that answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. Northern Exposure, Chicago Hope, Providence, finally Gideon's Crossing. Let's see who got it right in the fastest time. The winner is... Alex Richter. $850,000 when we come back. Well, we have a young doctor here from uh, St. Louis, Alex Rashmiel, who is uh, a resident physician at the ER room of uh, Washington University Med Center in St. Louis, Missouri. Yes, that is correct, sir. Nice to have you here. How long do you do a residency? Well, I'm in the second year of a four-year program right four now. Four-year program. Correct. Is the ER room there anything like what we see on television? Uh, it's not quite as exciting. Um, on TV, they take a lot of liberties because they're working with a limited amount of characters who they want you to form an attachment with. Mm -hmm. They have the characters do a lot of things that they wouldn't ordinarily do in their job description. But uh, everyone understands it's dramatic license. Absolutely. And speaking of characters that you formed an attachment uh, with, Erin uh, is back there. Hi, Erin. How Hi. you doing? Very That's good. your girlfriend, huh? Yes. And what do you do, Erin? I'm a pharmacist. Pharmacist. Great. Well, Alex, here you are. You saw what happened to this lady. She got all the way up to a half million dollars. So it's so possible, you know, to go all the way. It. Let's see if it happens to you, okay? okay? You know about the rules. You know about the lifelines. You know how much money you're playing for. So let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Alex Rushfield. We start at $100, and here it is. If someone is very sad, he is likely to explain that he feels what color? Red, white, blue, burnt sienna. The answer is C, blue. Yes, sir, they feel blue, you're right. 200, a popular contraption used to catch household pests is called a roach what? Motel? Apartment, bungalow, bridal suite. Well, when I was in medical school, we had some of these in our apartment. Um, the answer is A, motel. Yes, a roach motel is the right answer for two hundred dollars. All right, Alex, here it comes for three hundred. If everyone starts out with an equal chance at achieving something, it is said there is a what? A crack of the foundation. Level playing field, bad moon rising, new sheriff in town. B, level playing field. Yes, sir, they're playing on a level playing field. He's up to $500. Which of these playing cards is considered a face card? Five of diamonds, 
10 of hearts, jack of diamonds, six of clubs. C, jack of diamonds. Jack of diamonds, the right answer. That's your face card. Going for $1,000, which of these services do Skycaps provide at an airport? Towing planes, handling luggage, serving coffee, cleaning airplanes. The answer is B, handling luggage. And you're right, they handle luggage, and that's it. For $1,000. Got through the first five, just five, going for $2,000. Take a look. In a 1972 song, the singer wants his picture on the cover of what magazine? Spin, Time, Life, Rolling Stone. Nineteen seventy-two. It's a little before my time. At mine. <laughs> it's definitely definitely not spin. I'm pretty sure it's D, Rolling Stone. Okay. Uh, confident. Yes. Final. Final answer. Got it for $2,000. There you go. And Dr. Hook, responsible for that hit. Here it is for $4,000. When iron rusts, it has a chemical reaction with what gas? Helium, nitrogen, oxygen. C, oxygen. Washington University uh, Medical Center, and uh, yes. from St. Louis, St. Louis, of course. But you're a hometown boy. You're a New York guy, right? Yes, I grew up in Staten Island, New York. Uh huh. And um, I went to a very famous uh, high school here in Manhattan, uh, Regis yes. High School. Yes, Regis High School. And incidentally, you know that high school was named after me. No, no, I'm sorry. I was named after that. That's how I got my name, Regis. Believe it or not, my father went there. But we've had. Uh, uh, two or three guys here from uh, from Regis High School. At, at least two before that I know of. Yeah. One of them didn't do well. He missed the first question, and mm -hmm. the other one made it all the way to five hundred thousand nope, dollars. No kidding. And uh, as a matter of fact, the day I was going for my audition for the show, I got a copy of my high school alumni magazine from Regis High School, and there was an article by this alumnus who I know detailing his experiences on the show, winning $500,000, going to the Tournament of Champions. And the guy that uh, didn't even get make 100, uh, did we hear from him? Mm, I haven't heard from him, but uh, I did see him on Rosie O'Donnell's show. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right, I remember that. All right, here's where you are. You're eight questions away from uh, the big payoff here. You're going for $8,000. You've won 4000 All of your lifelines are with you. Alex, let's play. Here we go. For $8,000, in the 2000 film Traffic, Michael Douglas plays a high-powered federal official in charge of fighting what? Handguns, tax fraud, pollution, drugs. I haven't seen this film yet. You heard about it? I've heard a little bit about it, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'd like to ask the audience. Okay, audience, we have a job for you. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, pretty overwhelming 
Nearly 90% say it's drugs. That's what I figured it was. Um, I was just concerned about the, the gun's angle. Maybe uh, sure. they played into it, too. Sure. So let's go with the audience. Let's go with the drugs. I Final answer. It. Final answer, yeah. Drugs it is for $8,000. Here it comes for $16,000. Which of these following artists created the 1962 painting 20 Marilyn's? Andy Warhol, Frank Stella, Jasper Johns, Roy Lichtenstein. A, Andy Warhol. Final? Yes. Warhol did it for $16,000. All right, Alex, we're going for 32,000. A Van Dyke is a type of which of the following? Tie, beard, shoe, necklace. A Van Dyke is a beard, B. Final. Yes, final answer. Yes, it's a beard for 32,000. Got two lifelines left here, and he's five questions away from one million eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. But here it is for sixty-four thousand. The historic Oregon Trail starts in what U.S. state? Oklahoma, Illinois, Kansas, Missouri. I should know this but I'm not sure at all. I think I would like to use a lifeline. Okay. The question is which one, 50-50 or phone a friend? I don't think the 50-50 will help me that much in this, because I don't really have an idea. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to phone a friend. Let's see, I'm trying to think of which one would know this. And uh, I think I would like to call Matt. What does Matt do? Matt is one of my coworkers. He's also a resident in emergency medicine. Okay, fine, let's get Matt on the line, AT&T. Hello, Matt. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from New York. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Fine. We've got Alex here, and he's going for $64,000. Well, we knew he'd do well. Yeah, he's doing fine, and uh, calling you because he's hung up on a question. He's going to give you the question and the four possible answers. Okay. And one of them's the right answer. Alex, all yours. 30 seconds starts now. Matt, the Oregon Trail starts in what U.S. state? Oklahoma, Illinois, Kansas, or Missouri? The it, Oregon Trail, where does it start? It starts in Missouri, gateway you, to the west. Are you sure? Uh, I am 90% sure. You can go with Oklahoma, Illinois, or Kansas. You sure it's Missouri? I am, uh, I am sure. Okay, Lewis and Clark type thing, huh? Exactly. All right, thanks, Matt. Have a good shift tonight. No problem. Well, Missouri, that's where you're living now. And that makes sense, because I was thinking Lewis and Clark started out in Missouri and made their way to Oregon. The reason I called Matt is because he's from Oregon, and he's traveled a lot, traveled a lot also, so I figured he would know that. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with Missouri. Final answer. Yes, Missouri for $64,000. Working at Washington University Med Center in St. Louis, Missouri, has won $64,000.
and going for 125000 Now, what do you miss about New York out there? Well, there's a couple things I miss. Um, one is being able to get any kind of food any hour of the day or night. Can't do that in Missouri. Another thing is the great public transportation, especially the Staten Island Ferry. Mm -hmm. I really miss that and being around the water. All Baseball teams? Oh, yeah, I miss being able to go to see my favorite team, the Mets. Although well, when they, they go to St. Louis, you can see them there. Yeah, and then I have to put up with all the St. Louis fans saying, the Mets are pond scum. They have that <laughs> saying down there. What do they call the Mets? They call the Mets pond scum. Pond and scum. It's a holdover from the rivalry that the Mets and Cardinals had in the 80s. And this year, the Mets and the Cardinals uh, met up in the playoffs again. That was a great So playoff. people revived the uh, But why rivalry. pond scum? I'm still not sure. You know, a guy that. called me that years ago. I never knew what he meant. Yeah. Pond scum. Something else to worry about. All right. 64,000. Yes. Going for 125,000. One lifeline left. Alex, let's do it. Let's go all the way, okay? okay. And let's play. <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. and his father were co-pastors of what church? Brown Chapel, A.M.E., Dexter Avenue Baptist, Ebenezer Baptist, 16th Street Baptist. Let's do the 50-50. Why don't we narrow it down, please, computer. Take away two of the wrong ones. Dexter Avenue Baptist and Ebenezer Baptist. <sighs> Tough decision. Lose 32,000 or I guess guess and make it to 125,000. You know, it's not it's not very tough because I haven't a clue about this one. So I don't think staring at it any longer is going to make me know the answer, so I'm going to get one of these other people in the hot seat and walk away. All right. Good idea. You won $64,000. The answer is Ebenezer. Ebenezer Baptist. Alex, there it is. Nice piece of change. Good luck with your career. Thank you. Okay, Alex. Smart guy. And now he's $64,000 richer. But we're almost out of time, so here comes the next fastest finger question. With these U.S. states in order by their total land area, starting with the smallest. Wyoming, New Jersey, South Carolina, Texas. Okay, time's up. Let's see that answer in the correct order, starting with the smallest state in New Jersey, then South Carolina, Wyoming, Texas, and let's see who got it right of the fastest stop. The winner is... Ed Kutak. Ed Kutak, yes, sir. Ed Kutak, yes, sir. Let's go for it, Eddie. Come on. Okay, it's Ed Kutak from Austin, Texas. Been here before. About a year ago. Never got in the hot seat. No. That's why you're allowed back. That's right. Well, good for you, Ed, and uh, nice going. Thank you. Austin, Texas, yes. as I recall? Yeah. You were here last uh, January. January, yeah. Yeah. All right, good. We only have a few seconds left, so we're going to try to get as many in as we can. You know the rules. You know about the lifelines. You know how much money we're playing for. It's a lot. So let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Ed Tutan. For $100. By definition, what shape is a traditional wreath? Ring, triangle, square, reindeer shaped. A wreath is A, a ring. That's what it is. It's shaped like a ring. $200. What part of a car normally makes skid marks? Bumper, wheels, windshield, insurance premium. Okay, I would say tires, but I don't see tires there, so I would say wheels, and that would be B. And that would be the right answer for $200. Well, I knew it was coming. That sound means that we're out of time for tonight, but it'll be back here Wednesday night, and joining him will be 10 people who aren't the mole. They are Why Kima Kimbrough, Amy Turner, Patrick Shaw, 
Bobby Concepcion.